All right, so I'm just going to get straight to the point here. Uh, we're building the neck today. Building, building the neck, bu building the neck. We are building the neck. All right, so before we begin, I just want to apologize for uh, taking a really long hiatus. I was taking care of some personal matters at the time, and uh, I, unfortunately, I was just unable to make any videos during that time period. However, I am back, and we'll continue where we left off. So I'm sure you remember the, uh, the helmet we made last video. We just printed it out and we kind of assembled it and that's where we left off. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to continue that during this video because uh, I I ended up breaking a, a black spray paint, the little the little button to be precise, and uh, that kind of frustrated me. I'm still waiting for the uh, new black spray paint to come in and it was delayed for some reason. I don't know why. I even ordered it like a week in advance and uh, somehow it still got delayed. It, it's been happening a lot lately with, all, with a bunch of other orders I made. So uh, I guess the uh, stars are aligning for them to, I don't know, screw me over. But that doesn't mean we can't work on other things. So we'll just go ahead and make some progress somewhere else. And with that, we're going to be working on the neck. However, the neck actually requires a separate piece that would be going inside the suit for it to stay in place because I want the first segment to stay in place. So before I introduce the neck, I'm going to introduce the inner brace. And this is going to be one of the pieces that will be directly in contact with me 100% of the time. So the purpose for this thing is that it's actually going to be holding everything else in place. So basically that includes the back, the chest, and the neck piece. So what happens is uh, there's a bunch of cosplays, I'm not going to name anyone, but there's a bunch of cosplays that basically don't make any sort of inner skeleton for their Iron Man armor. And so they basically just uh, bare bones, just kind of put it on and uh, it's just like that. They just have the outer shell and it's just hanging off of them. Now as simple as that may sound, uh, the problem with that is you get the... Uh, the uh, giraffe effect going on. So yeah, just go on Google or search up Iron Man cosplay and uh, see if you can find any of them that have like a, a suspiciously long neck. So yeah, so for that very reason, I'm making this uh, inner brace that's gonna be holding everything up in place and it's gonna be putting the shoulders and the chest in their proper location in relation to my, uh, to my upper torso. So as the shoulders should be, they're gonna be up here and not way down here. So next, the neck is gonna look uh, it, its proper length. So for that reason, there's going to be these little pegs here. They're going, be, they're going to be holding the neck in place. Now we're going to go ahead and take out all the neck pieces. And there you go. Here you're going to notice this little extra peg here. And this is going to be in contact with the back piece. The back piece is just right here. It's going to be way over here. In fact, actually, I'm going to go ahead and take it out. So we got this back piece here. I separated a bunch of, uh, a bunch of the pieces. But Right here is where it's going to be in contact. And as you can tell, it, al it also has its own piece. So all these little slots are going to be containing the uh, the magnets, which are right here. I still have a good amount. So yeah, you're also going to notice a bunch of slots here, and that's where the magnets are going to be. And this is all cone-shaped, so they should all kind of slide into each other uh, relatively easily. If not, then I'll do some, uh, some further sanding. But everything should slide in fairly well. But yeah, so this is basically the connection piece that I made. That will be connecting from the brace to the neck. So basically there's con there's this connection here, there's another connection here. And I also separated these into individual pieces as well as horizontal uh, f uh, individual pieces. And you're probably gonna notice that there's nothing here on the inside in terms of connections. And well, I'm actually uh, planning on using buckles. I, or I ordered those like uh, a week ago and uh, they should be arriving any time now. So hopefully they arrive pretty soon. And you're also gonna notice from the side view, there's supposed to be a big missing piece right here. I made a cutout here, basically to around, allow room for my chest, because my chest is supposed to be around here like this. And well, I want to basically allow for ample room for that. So the reason I'm doing this is because I want this piece specifically to stay in, its specific, in this specific location. And these pieces are going to be basically the ones flexing around. And basically, I'm going to align the inside with some el elastic bands or whatever they're called. They're basically like this, but they're stretchy. So, so yeah, and then these are obviously going to be connected by very tiny buckles that I bought. And so, yeah, that should hold itself together fairly well. And well, up here, I want to connect in the a regular uh, a regular nylon strip to the helmet itself with like a buckle or something like that. So if I were to take off the helmet, I undo the buckles and all these pieces are basically going to collapse down and this is going to stay where it's supposed to be. So when I take off the helmet, it's not going to look like I have like this gigantic neck piece up here. It's all going to collapse down and it'll look a little more aesthetically pleasing. So yeah, so that's basically all there is to it. So uh, while I wait for those buckle pieces and those uh, bands and strips and whatnot, 
Let's get to printing. All right, so here we have the pieces in question. So basically, as you can tell, if you uh, kind of look at the uh, inside of these pieces, they're all basically numbered. And that's basically so I can uh, differentiate between the different pieces. So nothing too complicated, really. So yeah, so first things first, what I want to address first is uh, I'm not going to be lining the inside with the elastic just yet because um, I do plan on uh, basically sanding these down and painting them later. And then after that, that's when I'll basically uh, line these up. Because if I have these all lined up, with the elastic and I have to basically sand them down and paint them like that they're basically going to be attached to each other and that's just going to be a, a pain in the ass trying to like separate each part and like have to do all of that and it's just uh it's just going to be a, a big headache so i'm not going to line these just yet but what i am going to do is i'm going to take these buckles and uh i'm just going to be connecting everything as it should be on the inside like so so i have my uh, piece of uh nylon here and well, uh, these actually don't fit that well. I, I, I don't think I was able to find any of that was this small, but, but I'm gonna cut it into smaller pieces. You're gonna see that I did a bit of cutting and it should fit. I'm also gonna sort of lightly uh, burn it with a lighter so that uh, it basically seals it and uh, that should fit in quite nicely. So let's get to attaching. Alrighty, so so here we have the finished product, basically right here. I have the second segment on the uh, clamp because uh, one of the, one of these segments right here. Let's see if you can see it. This one didn't want to uh, attach itself very well, so uh, I basically clamped it down so that it wouldn't dance around while the while the glue set. So now I'm not gonna mess with all of these too much because I did just glue these like an hour, I think an hour or two ago, so uh, it hasn't set completely because this is like a. Gorilla Glue Super Gel, and uh, it's not like instant stick. You have to like ha hold it there for a while, and even then, even after that, it, you have to, you still have to let it sit. So I'm not gonna play around with it too much, but I will make a demonstration with this part. So basically, all you have to do is basically just unbuckle it. Basically, just your regular buckles, and there you go, just like that. And once you want to attach back, attach them back like that. And then like that. I have to do it off camera because like I don't know, it's it's kinda difficult to do it like this in midair. Let me try and do it. Oh I did. There you go. And this one. Never mind. Actually I can do it in midair. This basically just goes onto my head, like or my neck. And then I basically just clamp this in. It's gonna be a little difficult to do this freehand and not be able not being able to see it. So I have to basically kind of guesstimate where it is. So that's one. And we have another one right here. There you go. So it's a bit difficult when I don't have a mirror or if I'm like freehanding it. So, uh, and well, it fits pretty well. And obviously because the, uh, the whole neck, the whole brace, inner brace thing, it's gonna sit a little higher. And uh, it's not gonna be too bad. It looks a little worse here because of the headphones because my head looks bigger than it's supposed to be. So yeah, so it's about it's supposed to sit uh, somewhere around here, something like that. So yeah, so nothing too difficult. Now if I had to take it off, I basically just undo the buckles like that. Put this down, slide this out. Actually, I would have to like detach it, then slide it out. Because remember, these little slots are going to contain the, the magnets. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all there is to it. 
And that's the next part. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. Do whatever you need to do. And so in the next video, I'm most likely going to finish up the helmet and basically have that in the next video. So stay tuned for that. So if you like this kind of content, hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I post a new video. And so yeah, so that's going to be it for me. And uh, I'm a dip. <laughs>